Welcome back to the Road Show this morning in the Buzz, brought to you by the Comedy Connection. We are all aware of how food affects our body. Now, it's often based off the amount of calories, sugar, salt, etc. Mm -hmm. But there's a new field of nutritional uh, psychiatry that has that has uh, a different way of looking at things. That's right. It's to look at foods by how or they do or they don't boost your mood. So for example, salmon is full of omega-3 fatty acids that improve depressive symptoms. That's right. Now, psychiatrists say your mind and gut are always communicating. Therefore, uh, what we eat impacts our overall mental health. That's right. So other foods that may improve your mood is anything with complex carbs, such as starchy vegetables and produce, specifically fruits or vegetables with color. Uh, now, uh, type of uh, <laughs> leads to uh, production as <laughs> no, tryptophan school, leads medical to, school jargon. Yeah, tryptophan <laughs> leads to uh, serotonin production <laughs> as well as such foods as turkey, chicken, and eggs help boost your mood. And last but not least, Meg's screaming in my ear. It's tryptophan. <laughs> Probiotics help promote a healthy gut while also lowering social anxiety. So eat foods such as pickles and a yogurt. That's right. Food to boost my mood is a good pizza. I know this probably <laughs> shouldn't be on the list and it's probably not healthy for you, but a good pizza will boost my mood. Although I have jumped on, and you know, I have a lot of friends who, you know, know I, I really hate seafood 99% yes, of the time. Yes, you do. And I'll go out to dinner with them now and I'll like order, order salmon. And they look is at me and they're just like, like are pigs flying? Like, What's going on? What has happened to you? <laughs> like, I know, I know, I know. So I'll have, I, I do actually like and enjoy eating salmon now. I, no, I've always loved salmon, but for me, I was talking like a juicy burger. Oh, I God, love yeah. a cheeseburger, and I also love any kind of pasta mm -hmm. that always boosts my mood. I love it when you know, even when, like when Matt will make one at home. Right. I'll get I'll get excited. Yes. Like Greek olives or cherry tomatoes, right. some olive oil. Right. Like it boosts my mood immediately. Right. But I know I, even myself. Look, I don't drink soda very much at all, yeah. and I know. Look, it tastes good while you're drinking it. Yeah. But then, a, you know, a little while later, with all that sugar, you you crash. You crash quick. You crash from yeah. any of that. Stuff stuff I'll, I'll crave some like chocolates or something like that and then later on you crash from it although what we were reading on the list I think dark chocolate is on the list for a mood booster it was it, yes it, it's not I don't think it's not the milk chocolate but the dark chocolate is on the list and I know that it's not so much a food but caffeine coffee too coffee does coffee and that does, does for me it, it does it as well all right Brendan what are you having at the uh, the, the, the crib <laughs> castle that boosts your mood boxed wine and cheese it's baby yes. let's go yes, are you with me <laughs> yes <laughs> We'll be, I'll be right so, over. So classy, aren't I? No, I mean, I think anything that can really help you, you know, just mm, like yeah. the dark chocolate spray. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I mean, I, I keep, <laughs> what's under the tech, Connor? Don't get nice. There Thank you. Hang there on. There you go. Oh. It does. It boosts oh. your mood right up, I'd right? love to have an iced coffee IV. But I really think, yeah, anything that kind of, can kind of put you in a better mood. I think salmon, Will, you said you've recently discovered salmon. Yeah. I, <laughs> I actually, yes, I actually no. like it. Well, know, it, was, it, it is delicious. Like it. it was never really on your menu, but no, now yeah. it is. Right, yeah. right now it is. You don't want your mercury levels to get too no, high. That can't no, happen. No, no, no. no, no, no. Our friend Howard. Eats Howard it too Stern much. talks about yeah, this. He's yeah. right. He's very health conscious. Yeah. He's very healthy. He eats it's too thin. much. Yes, right. as he says, no food tastes as good as thin feels. <laughs> All right, let's check in with our viewers. I happen to agree with him. Here's what you guys had to say about this right here on the road show this morning. Cindy's up first. I love this. She breaks it down for us. Healthy steamers for snacks. Healthy nuts with M&Ms. Oh, that's a good combo. For a meal, try a spoon roast beef marinated and done on the grill. Delicious. Uh, but roll in the grill right now. It might get a little smoky in here, but why not? Joan shares, just thinking about a turkey dinner boosts my mood because it reminds me of Thanksgiving and family. Lovely right there. Charlene lists her favorites. Pay close attention and hold your applause until I've listed all of them. Dark chocolate, watermelon, dark sweet cherries, cashews, and many others. Very nice. No applause. That's fine. And I think Sharon has the right idea. <laughs> I'm a fool. Saying simply wine, doesn't matter if it's white, red, or green. Definitely, I can't go wrong with some wine. And like I said, try pairing them with Cheez-Its. Thanks for chiming in, everyone. And please keep those comments coming. And they might be shown right here. You know where. On the road show, follow us. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you never know. And this is tremendously exciting. I might read it right here on TV. There you go. <laughs> it is very exciting. Very exciting. It's exciting. Still to come this morning on the road show, mom influencer and craft expert Courtney Calgiri is back to help us make an easy and fun outdoor craft for the kids. Always love seeing Courtney. Great stuff. You are watching the road show on this Monday morning. Will's back. What's not to love? And we're coming back right after this.